Thank you for watching this video for the Informatica Cloud Services. In this video, you will see a demo of the Informatica Cloud plugins for SAP and Salesforce integration. These plugins are prepackaged templates for some of the most common Salesforce integration use cases, including Customer Master Sync, Product Master Sync, and Pricing Sync. And this video will specifically be a demo of the Customer Master Sync plugin. The demo will be broken up into three parts. The first will show how account data that is created or modified in SAP is transferred into the Salesforce account object. The second part will show how contact data in SAP is transferred into the Salesforce contact object while maintaining the relationship with the proper Salesforce account records. And the final part of the demo will show data moving in the other direction where changes made to data in Salesforce will propagate back to SAP. So we start off the demo here in Salesforce, where we see both the account and contact objects are both empty. So let's start off the demo here by creating a new customer record in SAP, and we'll see that, mo that data moved across over here to Salesforce. So to do that, we go to the Informatica Cloud website. I'm going to go ahead and log in. And we go to the Data Services tab, where we see all of the functionality available here in Informatica Cloud. So Informatica Cloud has synchronization capabilities, replication, data quality assessment, and loading capabilities. But I'll be focusing here on this demo on the Salesforce and SAP integration plugins. And here we'll go ahead and start the SAP to Salesforce direction. And uh, we see that it's currently running. And now we're ready to uh, start moving some data over. So to do that, let's go over to SAP. And let's create a record here. Let's create one for Informatica. So we've got a new SAP record. I'll go ahead and save this. And now that the record is saved, we'll start to see the, move, the data move across. Now here in Informatica Cloud, we'll see that the row count will go ahead and increment up as Informatica Cloud is processing that record. And once that record is shown here to be moved over, if we go back to Salesforce, we'll see that there is a new record here, um, and there's the one here that we created for Informatica. If we drill in, we see all the information. Now we do also see that there are currently no contacts available here for this record. So let's go ahead and create a couple of contact records in SAP, and we'll see those records flow across to, to Salesforce. So now going back into SAP, for this record I'm going to go ahead and create two new contacts. Okay, so I'll go ahead and hit save. And now if we go back into Informatica Cloud, we should see the row counts again increment to process the changes for the contacts and the parenting to the account. So now going back to Salesforce, do a refresh here on this screen. And we'll see the two new contacts that have been loaded into the Salesforce contact object, but more importantly, they have also been parent, properly parented to the proper uh, account record. Okay, so the final part of the demo, let's go ahead and make a change here to some of the data in Salesforce, and let's see the data be moved across over to SAP. Um, so let's go ahead and change the phone number. So this phone number is not the correct Informatica phone number. So let's go ahead and change it to the proper number. All right, so let's go back to Informatica Cloud. Let's run the plugin that will move in the other direction. So this is from Salesforce to SAP.
So now Informatica Cloud is processing the data in the other direction where we're reading that change in Salesforce and we'll be propagating that over to SAP. And once we see that this is completed running, go ahead and check SAP. Okay, so now we were back here in SAP. Take a look at the record. See that the phone number has properly been changed from that 555-5555 phone number to 650-385-5000. Thank you for watching this video for Informatica Cloud. For more information, please go to www.informaticacloud.com. Thank you.